good afternoon all. Me and a friend of mine have just been to see our old college lecturer uh, from many moons ago. Um, we've had a bit of a chat and a discussion about different things, as you do, um, but we brought up about the decline in the um, automotive industry, about new techs and everything coming into the industry. And I uh, just wonder if any of you are suffering to employ new people, and if you were able to employ new uh, people, how you've done it. So we'll just have a bit of a chat today as we're driving back um, and see what you think. I've done a little bit of research on it and it, believe it or not, uh, the automotive sector is one of the, has one of the highest job vacancies at current. Uh, they reckon it's about 43% over any other job uh, sector in a skilled level, which is quite a massive jump between, between the skill levels. Um, gone on the IMO website and they think there's around uh, 23,000 uh, job vacancies within the UK alone at, uh, at the moment and also by 20, tw uh, 2031 they reckon there's going to be 160,000 job vacancies. Now I don't know about any of you but that's sort of is quite worrying to think how are we going to be able to keep up with the demand with the amount of cars that's on the road and different things that's happening Obviously, the older generations are retiring, new staff not coming in. Um, obviously, with bringing staff in from abroad and things like that, that seems to be stopping now and things like that. So, it's, it's quite a worrying time, if you ask me, and I just don't know where we're going to go with these, these sort of problems. Uh, then, a bit of looking into it, guys, and uh, the average wage around the UK is about £29,000. Now, that's not a bad wage if you, you think of it, sort of thing. But also, one needs to be taken into account that most mechanics buy their own tools. So obviously, if on average, take me as a, a thing, I spend between two and a half to three and a half thousand pounds a year on tooling licenses for the uh, diagnostic computers and uh, the like. And obviously, I've been in the trade around eighteen to twenty years, sort of thing. So obviously, you add that up, it soon adds up the amount of money you spend. Now, don't get me wrong; not everyone's spending that sort of money. Some people are spending a lot less, but a lot of people are spending a lot more than what I do. Um, I'm quite lucky I get some tools subsidised to the company and also um, on loans and things like that, so it's quite good. Um, if you also have a look then, the average salary for it to be working in a supermarket is around £26,500. Now, like I said, if you deduct off the 29000 the money you spend on tooling every year, you can see why a lot of people are deciding to work in factory units, supermarkets, and things like that, instead of going into the motor industry. Um, no one wants to be working on cars when they're getting cold, wet, um, things like that, when they can work and be sat down in, a, in an industry. So I personally think we need to have a massive shake-up within the motor industry. Um, and people, I, I think people need to be registered to work on cars. Like when you think of Corgi registered and uh, you've got to be registered for cash, you've got to be registered for, for plumbing and things like that in your house. No one would have a go doing that themselves in their house. But when you're working on vehicles, when there could be two, three ton of vehicle doing high speeds, and we're allowing anyone to work on it. Now in my mind, I think the industry needs to be sorted out there and something needs, we need to have some sort of registration to say yes, you're actually safe to work on these vehicles. With the amount of vehicles that's on the road, obviously, especially now we're coming into the hybrids and the electric vehicles. Yes, a lot of people are okay to work on them, but there should be some sort of safety training or safety test to make sure you're confident and competent to be able to work on them. Like I said, it's just me rambling. I don't know if any of you have got any suggestions on these. You might think it's a load of rubbish. But I would like to know what you think about it. Um, yeah, so if you could think of anything or think of any other problems you could see arising in the motor industry, please let me know because I'd like to know this. And obviously my colleague sitting alongside him, uh, alongside me, he's holding the camera at the moment, so uh, you can see his hands are starting to shake. So I'll stop the video now. But if you could, please like and subscribe. And like I said, if you think of anything, drop it in the comments. Thank you all.